Yo, what's up guys? Today in this video, we are going to be checking out three gadgets for under $20. All the products featured in this video will be linked in the description below. They're all from Amazon. So let's get into the first product. First product is MPOW Sport Wireless Earphones. Looks kind of like Beats Wireless knockoffs. They get really good ratings on Amazon. They have IP67 sweat proof rating. They claim they have rock solid bass and great stereo sound. And then memory foam ear tips. It also comes with a pairing pouch inside. Some things to keep in mind is to make sure you're always keeping these charged up to protect the battery. It's a 100 milliamp hour battery, which means you get about seven hours on each charge, in which it takes an hour and a half to charge. Built-in mic, advanced noise cancellation. All right, let's open these up. And pow. case in here. It kind of looks like the Pixel Buds case. And then at the bottom you get your instruction manual. Alright, opening up the case here. We have our headphones along with the charging cord, extra ear tips, and more extra ear tips. Wait a second. I'm actually not sure what these ones are for. It's gonna take the twist tie off. Decently long cable. You have an L right there and an R right there labeled for left and right obviously and then they'll fit in your ear. Let me try these out. All right, there's buttons on the right bud, up and down for volume on the top part. Volume up, volume down, and then on the bottom part here, there's a charging port, micro USB. The volume up button is also a skip button. If you press the front, this MPOW logo, it's the power button, the answer a call button, put down the call button, and uh, pause and play music. Then the volume down button is also previous track, and then you have a little LED sensor on the side there. All right, let's see if these have any juice in them. I'm gonna try and power these on, press the middle, but the MPOW button for one to two seconds. That just turns it on. To go into pairing mode, you hold it for three to four seconds. MPOW flame it comes up as your headset is connected. All right, let's try song. These are one of these um, third party products, so it gives you the battery percentage up in the upper right. Let's go all the way up. Holy crap, these go really loud. Wow, these are really good. Um, I obviously don't have the real beats to compare these to, but um, they get really loud. I do have AirPods, and these go probably just as loud as AirPods for about one-tenth of the price. I really like these. The reason I like AirPods more, though, is because there's, there's no cord at all. Next product. Cam Kicks. It goes for $18.49 on Amazon. Everyone knows what these do. This is a 5-in-1 deluxe lens kit. You just attach these to the back of your phone. Work on any smartphone. Got the cleaning cloth here. We have the clip that goes on the back of your phone. You have all these lenses. One, two, three, four. They all have little sections where, they're, where they can be held. You have a wrist strap. Your instruction manual a Bluetooth shutter button, and that's it. Wide angle lens, gives you a bigger picture of what you're seeing. Telephoto lens, gets up close with two times optical magnification. The iPhone 10 has that already built in. Fish eye is kind of like wide angle, but it's like, it makes everything a circle. And the CPL, circular polarized lens, reduces glare and reveals vibrant true to life colors. Bluetooth iPhone shutter, everyone knows how to pair these. You just turn it on the switch on the side and open it up in Bluetooth on your phone. This strap right here, some phone cases have um, two little holes right here. And if you didn't know, you can use those holes to put a strap through and you'll have yourself a nice strap for your phone. Right, time to check out the actual lenses. To put these in, you just screw it in. You also have a little cover. So you take the cover off and there's the lens. This one is the CPL. So here's what the camera is now. And if I put the lens on, this gives it more vibrant color. So if we look at the blue clock, let's take a picture with the lens on. And now taking the lens off is another picture. Before, after. This one, it just kind of looks the same, to be honest. This one right here looks like it's the telephoto zoom. Then let's put on the lens. So it just zooms in quite a bit. So on, off. That one's pretty cool. Oh, you gotta make sure you do not touch these. There's nothing more annoying than a fingerprint on your lens. All right, next lens, we'll try this one. Fish eye. All right, here's normal. And here is fish eye. Whoa. That's cool. Everything from a fish eye perspective. 
And the final lens, this one must be the wide angle. Here's normal. And putting the lens on, you get a wider angle of stuff. I think this one's my favorite. It's pretty unnoticeable, but it's still enough to know that it's a wide angle. Not bad. All right, guys, and the final most expensive thing I've got for you is $24.99. It's called the Wireless Car FM Transmitter. Basically, if you have a car without built-in Bluetooth, you can use this, plug it into the cigarette lighter slash 12-volt port in your car, and you can connect to it with your phone, and you'll get Bluetooth instantly. Looks like it has a micro SD card slot on top and an aux port on the bottom if you don't want to use the Bluetooth part of it. Have your device here. Have an included aux cord and this little something in there. And then your user guide. Four A fuse. Not sure what the four A fuse is for. So pretty self-explanatory. Another feature is gives you two USB ports on the top part here. So you plug this into your car, and then you get two USB ports and Bluetooth connectivity. Oh, I'm sorry. The micro SD card slot is on the left, and the aux port is on the right. Volume control, press it once, it either pauses or plays the song, or hangs up or picks up a call. And then a little microphone, I think. Let's go try this out. All right, so this car does have Bluetooth connectivity built into it, Apple CarPlay, but instead, we're gonna plug it into the port somewhere. Ah, down by the passenger left leg. Here, here's passenger side. The dash cam is plugged into there. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. All right, so we got that plugged in there. Now we're gonna turn on the car. We got some power there. This gadget's probably not ideal for this car as the 12 volt plug is on the passenger side of the car. But um, got it paired to my phone in Bluetooth. In Bluetooth for me, it's called BT70. Now what we have to do is click the channel buttons on the side, on the left side. I'm gonna set it to 90.9 and then we have to match that with this. We've got 90.9 on there, 90.9 on there. Now, let's open up our music app and click shuffle. Volume up on here, volume up on here. And we've got Bluetooth music. So you can either control it from your phone or you can control it from the right side here. The bottom button is next track and the top button is previous track. I'm gonna click next track. Boom. Yeah, you get the point, that's pretty cool. Especially if your car doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity. Because now we're gonna see how calling works out. We're gonna answer it with this. I'm gonna get an incoming call soon. As you can see, it's ringing through the car. So we're gonna click once. Hello? Yeah. Hey, can you hear me all right? Yeah. Do you hear me better like this, number one, or like this, number two? Number one. So that means this mic is working. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys, it's gonna be it for the video. I'd say out of the, all the products, this one has got to be my favorite because I know in a few months I'll be getting a car that doesn't have Bluetooth built into it, so this will really come in handy for me, and I'm so excited to try it out. Even though these may have great sound quality and this might make your pictures look better, this is my ultimate decision. If you want any of these products, they're all from Amazon. Go check the links in the description below. And yeah, guys, that's it. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.